after 65 days of clay cups. Can you hear that? We're having a major weather system going on outside. And I had the video clip ready to go this morning, but I've been putting it off because I, I wasn't sure I wanted to come out. I love a good storm, though. Don't get me wrong. I just just kind of put it off because I wasn't really ready to get out and get wet and get blown around. But it's really blowing out there. Oh, so exciting. Anyway, today's cup is a tea bowl. It was my first attempt at a tea bowl. I've never made one before. And um, Michael Coffee makes beautiful tea bowls. And I, I gathered by the shape. I, I had in my mind the type of shape, but I don't know what exactly makes it a tea bowl. So if anyone knows about that, questions or comments, if there's like, you know, a, a certain dynamic which makes an official looking tea bowl, I'd love to know that. But really, I wanted to talk to you quick, real quick. <laughs> about uh, some supplies I have on my shelf that I'm really, I really want to use. And I've had these for a, quite a, a while. And um, it's called Minnesota Clay Slip. There's blue. Oh, they're still wet. I was thinking they'd be dry. That one's wet. Anyway, there's, I, have, I have other ones over there. I have white and black and I have green and I have turquoise. But I, I'm not really sure how to use them. I've seen people use slip trailing on, on things, but they always seem to be white. And I don't know if it's actually this stuff. It doesn't tell me how to use it. Oh, yes it does. Take that back. I didn't look at this one. Okay. I'm going to give it a shot on something, but not today's. But if anyone could give me more information before I, I venture out, I'd really appreciate it. When should I put this on? When is, when is a good time to use this? I want to try it. I really do. So, hope you enjoyed today's cup. Let me know if you have any suggestions on how to make a better tea bowl. Uh, I'd really appreciate that because I just think they're beautiful. They're simple. They're no handles. And they're just, I don't know, I just think they're really simple and lovely. So, if you could help me, I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying. And I'm ready to get back out there in the rain. <laughs>
It's different than I've ever made before. I've kind of watched someone do it online. I still don't know if this is correct, so if I'm doing it wrong, refer me to something that I can... <laughs> I know what shape I'm looking for. cleaned it up the way I should have at the bottom. I'm not really sure how to do that. But I'll trim it tomorrow. Because I don't want to ruin it. I like the shape I have up top here and I'm afraid of ruining it if I take too much off the bottom. So... I wondered about this bat. I wondered about it. Um, I don't. I bought these bats on eBay. I'm sorry if you're the person that sold them, but they're actually not what I was thinking. I thought they'd be great. You can't put water on them. I'm barely putting water on this. They're, they're particle board, which obviously for what we do isn't right. But when I bought them, I didn't know that. Bye bye. It's discolored even. It's a chunk of clay. Not a bubble. Well, okay. I had an idea. I'm going to do it. Okay, this would be a great cup like this. Probably, but see, I chunked it there. So why don't I mark it? I wonder if professional potters do that. If you are in the middle of making something you have a plan for and then you change your plan in the middle. <sighs> okay. Hey, I think that looks pretty good. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> it up with a sponge, kind of smoothing it out. Yeah. I don't know how well you can see that. But I might do some more like that. I'm so glad that mistake happened.